Hello and welcome back to Generation Acres Farm. Um, it's time for one of our very favorite springtime activities and that is bringing new chicks to the homestead here. It's definitely something that we look forward to every year and I wanted to share a little bit about our favorite way to do that. So our favorite way to bring chicks home is not to use heat mats, um, heat lamps, you know, brooder setups in the home, in the garage, whatever. Like if you've done that before, then you know that it's pretty uh, labor intensive. There's just a lot of work that goes into that as well as just like constantly worrying about um, temperature. Are the chicks warm enough? Are they too hot? Are they cold? Um, and then eventually once the chicks get bigger, which they do grow really, really quickly, your house will start smelling or your garage or whatever. It's just really not a fun experience. So once we experienced putting baby chicks under a mother hen, uh, we pretty much decided right then and there that we would not be, if we had the choice, we would not be using heat lamps or heat mats or any of that ever again, that we would always try to use a mother hen. So some of the things that we love about putting chicks under a mother hen is number one, um, it's a lot less work. You're not worrying about the heat lamps, you're not worrying about whether they're hot or they're cold. The mother hen takes care of all of that stuff. Thing number two, they can be outside and you don't have to worry about, you know, fires or, you know, anything catching on fire because of the heat source. Um, the mother takes care of that. Again, you pretty much have to just provide a nice, you know, safe space for the mother hen and the chicks and then food and water for them. And the mother takes care of the rest. So another thing that we love, of course, is that they don't have to be in the house, they can be outside. And I also like that it's just a more natural way to do it. Um, I feel like there has to be some benefit to doing things the way God intended them to happen. Um, so whether that just be like a, maybe a stronger or more hardy bird, I don't really know, but I just feel like there's gotta be something there <laughs> that is uh, beneficial when you are keeping it kind of the way God intended, a little bit more natural having the mother raise the baby. If you're interested in learning more about raising chicks, chickens, things like that, I have several articles that are very informative, packed with tons of information on our website, which is generationacresfarm.com. I'll put direct links to those in the description box down below. Also, I wanted to make sure that you know that we are on Instagram, so if you wanna follow all along a little more closely to our kind of day-to-day -day life here on the homestead and then the future big farm that we're working towards currently, you can follow us there at generationacres.farm. Oh, I also wanna point out that we have a neighbor mowing their lawn, and so I'm sorry for the sound, but this is kind of a time-sensitive topic because we are bringing home chicks tonight, actually, and fertile eggs. So you can uh, raise chicks this way, and you can also put fertile eggs underneath broody hens, and they will hatch them for you, which is super fun. So we're gonna be doing both of those things tonight, showing you exactly how we do them, and so we're gonna take you along on this with us. All right, so I just wanna show you our current setup right now. So we have these two broody hens, which you can tell they're broody. See how she's fluffing up her feathers? She's making that noise and kind of clucking. That is your indication that she is sitting on eggs and she does not wanna get up, which means that she wants to raise some babies. And then she's the same way. The silkies are a little different, so you don't see them puff up quite as much. You can still see it. Um, but this is our, our um, Silky Elsa. She's raised many babies for us and does a great job. And then this one's a new one. She's a new bird, a buff Orpington that we have. She'll, this will be her first time um, sitting on eggs for us, so we're excited about that. Yeah, we, okay, in just one second, we're gonna be giving the chicks to Elsa. We're gonna get four chicks this evening and give them to her. And then we're gonna be putting six hatching eggs under this larger hen. So what we do is we, we close the door to the coop temporarily just for one night and we keep all the other chickens out on the night when we are going to be putting the chicks or the eggs under the mother hen. So I lock out all the other chickens so that way we know that the babies will not be messed with and that the mother, the, you know, the, the mom sitting on eggs will not be pushed out of her nest and forced to leave. So what we do is we set up chick feed and water right here, very accessible to the babies. Um, she has some food and, and some bread here that we've been giving her. And this coop has been needing to have the spring clean done, but I didn't wanna mess with them while they went broody because they're kind of finicky when they're broody. So that's the setup in our coop currently and uh, we're gonna wait until it's nighttime because chickens are just like 
a little bit not very aware of like what's going on once it's dark um they're just a little bit kind of oblivious <laughs> so um you can actually go in when it's dark slide the eggs out from under the broody mother and then put chicks under her and if all goes well she'll accept those chicks she'll assume that her eggs hatched and she'll take them under her wing and take good care of them so i'm going to walk you through that process though we're going to go get the chicks this evening i'm going to film we're going to show you exactly what we do in this coop putting the, the little chicks under there how we check on them how we make sure that the mother has accepted them so i'm going to walk you through all that and then we're also going to put the fertile eggs under here we'll show you in future videos how we candle those eggs to make sure that we are seeing growth and things in them um, all of that so we're gonna cover all of that so I mentioned that we do this at night and we only keep the mother hen and the babies in the coop for one night and we allow them to just sit there I don't like moving a mother hen to another spot whether that be with chicks or with eggs I don't like doing it immediately I like them to kind of get a little settled the mother hen to kind of accept them and you know to where we know that she'll protect them even if we move them so we let them stay in there overnight and then we're going to move them to another spot and this is kind of our brooder I guess um, that we've kind of developed over the years so I'm going to show you that all right so this is our brooder it used to be a dog house it's actually a very well built like super solid dog house and so it used to be our duck house actually and so what we have in here is just we put down some food grade diatomaceous earth on the bottom of it just to help with pests and things like that there were some ants crawling around and then we put a nice thick layer of the pine shavings there so they have a nice fresh bed um, when they do go in here tomorrow morning and then the other thing is that we have this run that my husband built and it just makes it to where they're able to get out on some fresh grass it protects them from aerial predators it's nothing major um you know not major hardware cloth or anything like that and we close up the coop at night the mom hen and the chicks will go in there at night and of course we'll have food and water and everything in there for them um, but this just makes it to where they're not cooped up and they can get fresh air sunshine learn how to scratch and peck and all of that stuff right guys yeah <laughs> are you excited to get the chicks you guys excited too boys yeah <laughs> all right so i think i covered everything so far we're gonna go and get those chicks we're gonna show you exactly how we do it follow along with us so stay tuned yeah mine is too like pick it over all right, so we got the eggs and the chicks, and as you can see, it's dark now, so we're out here trying to be quiet at the chicken coop. I'm going to sneak the eggs out from underneath of the chickens, and then under one of them, I'm gonna put the six fertile eggs, and then under the other, I'm gonna place the four little chicks that we got. Yeah, also tries the pack. I know, that's why I wear gloves. <laughs> okay, got four eggs. Yes, yeah, so you packed me earlier. You need more under there. I think I got them all. Okay. All right. All right, now How? it's time for the chicks to go under here. Can you see pretty well, Scott? Mm hmm. Okay. Real quick, real quick. All right. Okay. All right, here's our little chick. <coughs> We're going to tuck it under. You getting footage of this? Mm hmm. Don't give up, boys. Don't give up. Here's another. I'll tuck it under this wing. Okay. The other one isn't under. It's okay. They all go under. Okay. Last one. Look at that. It's like, what the? Where did you come from? Be nice, Elsa. She can't see as well. For a second. Okay. Now I gotta try to get. Okay. Can you come over to this side, buddy? All right. She hasn't picked me yet. Are those the ones that I have chicks in them? They don't yet, but they will. If she sets on them like she's supposed to, then they will have chicks. Okay. They're doing 
Go ahead. You're doing good, Mama. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. We'll get video. She's tucking them under her, I think. See, you're tucking them under? Yeah. I wanna see. Okay, I got, I got this. I wanna Watch, see. Come look, come look. She's tucking them under her. Oh, my word. And PBC's trying to see. Alright, you wanna get uh, any video of Elsa? See. I can't see. Beating up on her. You can't see any of them. Are they all under her? Yeah. They're all under, them. I think. Can you see really good? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't oh, stick your hand in there. Yeah, she'll get you. <laughs> Good. All right, so we got the chicks under Elsa and then the eggs under the other chicken. And what we're going to do is I'm going to set a timer on my phone. We're going to come back in like 15 or 20 minutes, check on the chicks with Elsa and make sure that the chicks are under her and that she's not, you know, rejecting them or leaving the nest or something in some way. And we'll do that probably like three times before we go to bed tonight that just to ensure that she has accepted them and that she's not gonna just leave them out here in the cold by themselves. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back and check on them in a little bit and I'll update you after that. So it's been 20 minutes. We're out here to check on the mamas and see how they're doing. So let's take a peek. I'm still freezing right now. It is cold. Okay. And I, and I still well, she's sleeping. Look, she's got her head tucked under. Can you see? Because I can't see. I can't. Let's check on Elsa. Get a really good shot in there. We have to go to her loops. I can't. You can't see any chicks. You can't hear them. That means they're warm. They're happy. So just hold it up. So we checked on them. They all look good. The one with the eggs has like her head tucked in her wing. She's good. She's staying put um, and all the chicks are under Elsa. I don't even know if I'll come back out. I'll probably come back out one more time and check on them just to make sure, but they're all under her completely quiet. They're probably asleep. So I think everything's going to be good. She's like, she, and then she's like, look over here. Oh, no, dude. She's like, this is a chicken.